Hey tubes, what's up? Well, thank you so much for changing today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing today, basically I was on the phone with Slick uh, last night and he asked me a question to all of his fans and my fans. Why did he lose a subscriber? I don't know. But do yourself a favor, if you like his content, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. And that would be nice for him. I will also leave the link down below. But alright, let's get into today's video. If you're curious on what I'm doing today, I got a bit of a small unboxing for you guys and girls. Basically, of a very new DVD drive. But it's not for this machine at all. It's for the one in my closet. I had one before, but it stopped reading this for some odd reason. But they're not that expensive. And basically, do yourself a favor. Don't install the trial version software that comes with uh, these uh, units. If you want, hey, that's all up to you. But basically, this is a very nice uh, DVD drive. It's a bono as well. But alright, let's get to the unboxing, shall we? Let's have some fun. And I know some of you are going to say, Chris, why do you need a DVD bono for a computer? You know that's old technology. Well, here's the thing. This drive is actually a brand new drive, a 2017. It just came out last year. And yes, I still use DVDs and CDs. But let's get into the unboxing of this little package, should I say. Not a whole lot in these things, basically. Kind of see what they kind of look like. Let's see. Aha. Of course, you get your instructions, a driver disc, and some screws. And basically, the unit itself. Okay, so the brand name Asus. Is what the front of it looks like. And is what the back of it looks like. Awesome. I know some of you new folks out there say, oh, DVD drives are out of date and they haven't changed in a very long time. Well, well, that's true. But if you think about it this way, if you was a guy who grew up in the 90s, like I was, I'm still going to use my DVD drive and CDs. Thank you very much. But let's go over the contents and the package itself. Basically, this is uh, the door. You got your LED. You got your eject button. And a little small pinhole heel. For you can insert a paper clip if the uh, drawer itself doesn't open. Now again, some information on the bottom. Be curious. Okay, here's some things. This is the SATA PAL, and this is the SATA data cable. But basically, what comes in this whole tile box? Well, basically, screws, a driver CD, and a manual. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing do not install this disk drivers and stuff like that because if you're using the newer version of Windows 10, this will automatically pick up in Windows 10. It's also compatible with Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1. But basically, all this is, you kind of see it, it's basically the trial version of certain software is what's on this disk. But this is going to go in my e-machine uh, computer. And I know some of you newer folks out there think streaming is the way to go. Hey, that's all up to you. Good luck because you have to pay for the service to be able to stream Netflix, 
Hulu, uh, any type of internet content because that is all internet provided. Now, here, let me just explain. Me, I'm old fashioned. You can kind of see behind me. There's all my collection of my CDs. I love using my CDs because I purchase the CDs themselves and have the physical copy instead of a digital copy of the same music. And let me just explain. Those are 10 times cheaper than the digital copy on iTunes. But basically, here is the drive I just unboxed. This is going to go in the machine desktop computer. Basically, I know you're going to say, Chris, you don't need something like this. Why do you still use it today? Well, I use DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs. And that, to me, is a very nice way of doing the things I love doing. Instead of trying to go through all those loops to download and have to pay for extra fees and whatnot, this is the best way to go. Now, you can pick this up at your local Best Buy, or sometimes you may have to order it offline anyways because it may not be in store, but basically all it is is a DVD bone or drive. And basically, that's all what it looks like. Now, this unit here only cost me about $21. Not too bad. And if you want a Blu-ray drive like the one that's in my computer over there, that's about $100. More than this. But yeah, that's why I still use my DVD drives, CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Alright, if you guys and girls are subscribing to your channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Oh, and by the way, I do apologize from that video from yesterday. I was just a little bit angry. But peace out and have a nice day.